Hello everybody, today we're going to look at acanth amoeba. So acanth amoeba are free living amoebas. They can cause infections in humans and animals and cause diseases such as amoebic keratitis and encephalitis. Encephalitis is caused when acanth amoeba enters, cuts and spreads or disseminates to the central nervous system. So acanth amoeba distribution, they are found worldwide and frequently found in uh, fresh water. Let's look at the morphology of acanth amoeba. So acanth amoeba can exist in two forms, the uh, trophozoid form and the cyst form. The trophozoid form is active and infective, whereas the cyst form is dormant and is environmentally hardy. So now we look. Now let's look at the trophozoid form. The trophozoid form is the active and infective form of acanth amoeba, and they also have uh, filamentous projections, uh, known as acanthopodia. So acanth acanthopodia are tooth-like uh, pseudopodia which they use for uh, movement. Uh, the acanth amoeba trophozoid has a single nucleus uh, with a dense uh, nucleolus in the center or in the middle. They also have an active contractile vacuole, so the function of, the, of an active contractile vacuole is to actually collect uh, water and pump it out of the cell. So since the uh, cytoplasm of a cell has uh, generally has a uh, salt concentration of uh, 0.89% and uh, since this uh, acanth amoeba lives in, a, uh, in fresh water the uh, fresh water is hypotonic to uh, its uh, cytoplasm so it will get uh, fresh water continuously uh, uh, seeping into the cell via osmosis so the uh, contractile vacuole collects this water and expels it uh, preventing the cell from uh, uh, from lysing the cyst form is the uh, dormant form and, and, and can survive for years under extreme temperatures and pH the cyst wall is consist is composed of two layers, uh, the exocyst and the endocyst. Uh, life cycle, so the trophozoites uh, replicate through mitosis and under less favorable circumstances, the trophozoites then uh, become cysts for survival. The trophozoites are uh, then uh, uh, enter the body via ulcerated or broken skin or through the lower respiratory tract. The trophozoites then invade the uh, central nervous system via hematogenous uh, dissemination. Uh, clinical manifestations. Uh, so acanth amoeba keratitis uh, which results in affected individuals complaining of eye pain, eye redness, blurred vision, sensitivity to light, sensation of something in the eye and excessive tearing. Disseminated infection can occur both with and without granulomatous amoebic encephalitis. So disseminated, uh, disseminated infection usually uh, shows up as inflammation of the lungs or sinuses and or skin infections but has the potential to spread to the brain. Skin infections of acanth amoeba can appear as reddish uh, nodules, skin ulcers or abscesses in the skin. Uh, symptoms of uh, granulomatous amoebic encephalitis include mental status changes, loss of coordination, fever, mus muscular weakness or partial paralysis affecting one side of the body, double vision or diplopia, sensitivity to light and other neurological problems. Treatment of acanth amoeba for an acanth amoeba infection. One treatment used is PHMB. PHMB is polyhexanite or polyhexamethylene biguanide, which is a polymer used as uh, an, a disinfectant and an, anti and an antiseptic. Polyhexanite is also used as an ingredient in some eye drops for the use with contact lens. Propamidine 
isothionate has also shown some effectiveness. Another possible agent is chlorhexidine. Keratoplasty may sometimes be required. Keratoplasty or corneal transplantation is actually a, a surgical procedure where damaged or diseased cornea is usually uh, replaced by a donated corneal tissue. Also a combined regimen of propamidin, myconazole nitrate and neomycin has also been suggested. With that, I thank you.